This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, everybody, how are you? It's Alex. Yeah, it's me. And I'm here. And we'll be here until... Uh, the uh, cock crows, or my cock crows, or whatever cock crows, at midnight tonight. Let me get my microphone in the right place here, and just say howdy, how are you, and uh, the fact that we have, yes, a video guest tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, sitting there pensively is, of course, Bob Rubin. Lighten up, everybody. Right on, man. Yeah. Lighten up, everybody. The old Rube is, is, is here. Hi, Aldo. Hey, how you doing, Rube? Pretty good. How about yourself? Oh, well, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm uh, surviving. <laughs> you may notice that since last week, I haven't changed my shirt. Uh, actually, <laughs> we pre-record these interviews, and wait a minute, I should put on a cap, see, because then, then you don't see my, my bald pate, right? But what happens is, like, ten, uh, like tonight, I'm running the first interview that we did that was on last week. See, people don't Absolutely. understand this. And I'm wearing this, and I may be wearing this shirt tonight so that when I do the changeover, it's no big deal, right? But And then it, like, this week, I, I, I probably, this shirt will either be dirty or I will have thrown it away or something. So. Hey, you can make up all the stories you want with this uh, so-called production deal here, but, you know, you got all five sides covered of living a shut-in, living the life of a shut-in. And, and how is how is that? You never change your shirt. Well, I I only shave about once every five days. That's when uh, I that, uh, and that's pretty good. And, then, that, maybe. and that's when I take a shower. <laughs> no, um, really. You, you just you push know, a, cu a couple weeks. You, if you go a couple weeks without a shower. See, I, I've been forced into retirement. I mean, I do this, but this is almost like retirement. You know, being on the Internet is 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 where every, like when a guy gets fired from the radio business, what's the next thing he says he's going to do? I'm going to do a, a podcast. Yeah. You know, so, I mean, I became that. You know, I became that, that the stereotype of an out-of-work uh, radio guy. Plus, at my age, nobody will hire me, so I'm forced into retirement. I don't want to be retired. I'd be happy to be working at a radio station right now doing a program, and I'd probably do a pretty good job of it. All right? Uh, I know. But uh, 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 I, I don't know anybody that will hire me, and there really isn't radio out there. It's like all syndication, a couple of guys doing... Uh, I used to joke that uh, porn was like uh, the same... Ten guys having sex with the same five women, you know, and that's pretty much the porn business. And it, it's it's kind of the same way in radio, you know. It's, it's like there are five radio outfits, and there are about seven guys who have the jobs, and that's it. You know, I'd say there. I don't even think there are five radio outfits, but yeah, the the uh, big big uh, corporate organization. Well, uh, they own. They, they buy up all the radio stations. I think there are. Uh, Four, at least four that I can name big outfits, two of which are close to bankruptcy. Do you ever hear of Cumulus? Yeah, very close to bankruptcy. Well, good for them, man, because they, they about ruined everything. They bought up a bunch of stations out here. I'm sure they bought them up nationwide yeah, or even yeah. world. Well, what happened was they bought up all these stations, and what happened was they, they, they weren't able to keep up the debt service on it. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, and the same thing. The other one that's going bankrupt or close to bankruptcy is uh, is iHeart Radio. They own a thousand stations in this country. Do they really? Wow. Yeah. Now here's what here's what the FCC, this new Trump FCC, wants to do, and this is just this is wonderful. They want to change a rule. There's a rule that if you're if you have a transmitter in L.A., you've got to have an office and studios in L.A. They want to do away with that rule. So what this means is that one outfit like iHeartRadio, they've got maybe seven basic formats. 
They could just sit in New York or Washington or wherever and service all these stations and never yeah. have to have a studio in those cities. Wow. So, So now what you've got is you do have the same, you know, 10 guys fucking the same five women. Well, uh, it's, that's how the whole world works now. Nowadays, it's well, going to get going to get even worse. What it is is, you know, when I say I'd like to get back and I'd like to do a radio show, I'd like to get back into radio, but I had to admonish somebody recently. There is no radio. You know, I mean, pretty much, it, it's like a snake that got its head cut off, and because uh, uh, its bottom half is still moving a lot, it thinks it's still alive. You know, but the fact is, the head's been cut off, and radio is has just been ruined by all these people being able to buy up all these radio stations. And now they won't even have to have an a studio in the town in which they're broadcasting. That's weird, man. So it'll be one giant robot somewhere in uh, in in uh, New York well, State, or yeah, uh, well, what they'll do is you'll have a transmitter, okay? Because yeah. you got to have a transmitter. That's you know, and that's got to be there. And what they have is a shack next to the transmitter, like most of them do. And they will have a satellite dish, okay? And they will have an automation machine inside the shack. And that's, you know, and then they'll simply, like this is a talk station, they'll beam down the talk uh, signal to that station. And there'll be nobody hired them, there'll be no salesmen, no on the air people, nothing in that market. And that will probably be most markets in the United States because, you know, when they make this a rule, what these guys are going to do, it's not like they're going to go, oh, well, that's not a good idea. We like the local people, you know. Yeah, right, man. Given the option, they'll do the cheapest thing possible. And it's terrible. You know, one thing got me mad was I have a union. I belong to AFTRA. Uh, so, union, you probably had to join for a short time, right? I'm still in it. You're still in I, it? I still get residual checks. Yeah. Yeah, I still get residual checks. I, from Comedy Tonight, I get residual checks. You really? Oh, yeah, I'm from HBO's One Night Stands. Every time they run another one of those, I get another check. I, I, you know, I'm no great fan of Bill Maher's because Bill Maher's a douche. But I love Bill Maher because most of the checks I've been getting are for him, for the one that I was the uh, announcer on. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. If you listen to me, folks, if you go to like uh, HBO and uh, online and go to their one night stands, you'll see a Bill Maher there and then listen for the voice. That's me. Hey, yeah. didn't they have uh, you host all those shows anyhow? They had me. I did the warm up. Right, right. Right. I'm but that doesn't pay a union scale. What paid the union scale was for the first, I think, uh, uh, 10 episodes of HBO's one night stand. They flew me down to L.A. and had me do the announcing. Oh, okay. And I and and so all, anytime any of those play, I start I get residuals again. So over the years, I made a lot of money off of HBO's one night stands. I probably made five, six thousand dollars or something in residuals, maybe more. I don't know. Gary keeps all that information. Money in the mailbox. And then when I did those comedy tonight's. Occasionally, they they show up somewhere or something, and I get a check for those. So, you know, residuals ain't a bad thing, So, but they can be a bad thing because you can wind up getting too many checks for 15 cents. You know, uh, but, you know what? I, I, I haven't got there yet. The smallest check I've gotten was probably $7. Oh, really? <laughs> really? Now, I get, now, mine usually come to, God, I'm trying to remember, maybe, maybe a couple of hundred. You yeah. Know? Uh, but... Uh, uh, residuals, it, residual, being in that in a business where you get residuals has got to be wonderful. I mean, I don't get many, so you know, uh, I've, I've only done a couple of things where I get residuals. But to be a guy who lives on residuals, to be able to just go to your mailbox and there's the money, you know, and it just keeps coming in. I mean, if you're doing, if you do a series, for instance, this is why this is why movie stars want to do series. They do three years on a series, and that thing goes into syndication. Then they're going to go to the mailbox, and there's going to be another check for three thousand dollars, you know, yep. or ten thousand dollars, or whatever. So, and you, yeah. are, you, you when can, I make my comeback, yeah, uh, which will be very soon, I'm going to get myself in a series, and it might not be, it might not even be a comedy series. It might be something different, you know, and uh, 
or something where I play the comic relief or maybe just where I play a psycho or something like that would be fun, you know? Yeah. And then that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to live off residuals, in, you know, down down the road. But get on a show that lasts at least three or four years and 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 you can get pretty good residuals. Although I think it's different, though, if you're on a cable show. Yeah. It's different. You know, if you if you're on a, a, a Netflix original or HBO original, yeah, there's no syndication deal. You know, you're right. I but I I wonder if it, it all depends. Is Netflix a signatory to After? And if they are, uh, every time a thir- fifteen weeks passes, I think you get another residual. Yeah, yeah, I th- and I think they are, I th- and I think that's how it works. And I think on our next show, we're going to talk about the word signatory. That's yeah. the whole show. We're going to do a whole show about signatory, man. But listen, I was a signatory to AFTRA when I was, you know, had my little company, uh, Benna Communications. Yeah. Or, or Bencom, I think it later became. Uh, and... Uh, I I was a signatory because I, I I believe in the union, you know. And the proudest day of my life was the day that I got to join the union because I had to. Because they said it's time you got to join the union. You got a union job here, and that was when I I think maybe Chicago was the first place that ever happened. And I was just so happy I could join my union. And so as I got more, did better and better and better, and finally wound up in San Francisco and was doing very well and had my own company and I was producing TV specials and I you know, was doing whatever, I became a signatory to AFTRA. I did it for a couple of reasons. Number one, my company then paid me a salary and I was able to get medical and things like that from the union. Well, at some point, the union didn't like the fact that I was working at a non-union station, which was Live 105. Now, it wasn't non-union in the traditional sense that anybody who worked there got blacklisted because at one point they did go in and try to make it a union station and the people there voted against it. So therefore you could legitimately work that radio station if you were a union member and not be blacklisted. You get my point? Be- yeah. Because, no, because it was legitimately not a union station. I got Okay, you. even under union rules, but they always had a bad attitude about it. Because slowly but surely, my union kept losing radio stations to a point now today where major stations like WOR, where I worked, is no longer a union station here in New York. And that was a major station, okay? And I remember getting my checks from the union when I would work there part-time. Anyway, where was, what was the point I was trying to make? Uh, so... Uh, but I was a signatory, and they, they then griped about the fact the only reason I was a signatory was so I could get the medical care and you know, the medical and the other benefits, the, the, uh, uh, the, the pension and welfare. Well, we were paying into that all the time. It wasn't like we were trying to cheat them. I paid into my own pension and welfare. I paid into my health benefits and so on. And uh, so finally, uh, uh, they, they, I, I had to stop. You know, they wouldn't cover me. So I had to stop being a signatory to the union. But I wanted to be a signatory because I wanted anybody who worked for me on television product project that I would have or anything like that would, would be covered by the union. Uh, and um, uh, th- that was my big problem with, uh, with them. I, I, I wound up saying to them, we've, we've given you th- tens of thousands of dollars over the last couple of years to be a signatory and you do nothing. You all of a sudden say that, well, I'm sorry, you're not a signatory. You know, so that was my big gripe with the union. Well, you can get, uh, I, I, I'm, I used to have pretty good medical under uh, SAG and after, and, and now SAG and after are the same uh, yes. union. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> The thing is, uh, really, what I want to do is get back, if we can, for a moment on that Bencom, because it sounds like a muscle rub, you know? Yes, uh, you got to naked and put on some Bencom. Shoulder rub in some yeah. Bencom. <laughs> no, but the thing is that, uh, that uh, no, that, I, I, that just bothered me because I was a signatory because I wanted to be. I wanted my company to be part, you know, a signatory to AFTRA. And, and they, they talked me out of it, you know? So, yeah. Well, I gotta. 
I'm going to form a company because uh, I'm going to take, I'm going to sell my show. I told you I did a comedy special, right? Yeah, I know. I know. I gave you money to do it. That's right. Not a yeah. lot, but I gave you what I had. Yeah, man. Yeah, it was a, a, a crowdfunded special, and uh, <clears throat> good things are happening with it as we speak. Let me just leave it at that. R really? Yeah, you, absolutely. You think, yeah. you think you got somebody that's going to take it? <clears throat> well, I think it, I think that we will now because Patton Oswalt's behind it. Oh. And he's, he's sending it out to people on my behalf. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah. Do you talk to Patton? Um, not really. You know, I mean, every now and then over the years, I've, our paths cross. And, no, but, uh, but I mean, now that he's pushing it for you, has he written you and things like that? Has he, has he what? Has he talked to you? I mean, written you? or? Uh, oh, yeah, man. We've just been doing an, e an email exchange. Would you, um, would, next time you write, would you write him and say that I would like to interview him for this? Yeah, absolutely. You know, and how can I get a hold of him, and if it's okay for you to give me his email address or whatever, okay? Because right. I've been trying to get him on. I know he would do it because Patton has always been very positive with me, you know. But uh, could you just maybe shoot him off an email and say I would do that? Yeah, I'll do that. Anyway, uh, and you have my email address, so you, yeah. you know you can have him give it to him. Anyway, I'll just forward it. Yeah, man, I'll just send him a note. Excuse me, folks, we're doing business right now. Anyway. Oh, that's right, man. Yeah, yeah. And now, ladies and gentlemen, a little something uh, that I think that is a real treat because it would give us an idea of what what's happening with your special and how the special looks. I thought that since we have video here, it'd be very nice for you to do, oh, no, just a couple of minutes of your stand-up. Oh, sure. Yeah, okay, so stand-up, okay. And, and, and Let me just straighten this out so we can see. Okay, so we can say, okay, ladies and gentlemen, doing his stand-up, this is from the special, piece from the special. How's that? Yeah, fine. Okay. I went to an Indian casino, and I, I went there to take back what they've been taking back, what we took in the first place, but they're way ahead. And I always expected that to be some sort of uh, more tribal, you know, but the, these uh, Indian casinos are just like the Vegas casinos. The pit bosses are dressed in suits, and they look bored, and... I don't know. I expect them to be wearing some sort of pit boss shaman skin or something like that, you know? And you're sitting there and you're playing blackjack and you got a nine and a five and a dealer's showing a seven. And and you look at the pit boss shaman because you're not sure what to do. Take a card or stand pat. And he starts chanting, hey, hey, and then he hands you a... Uh, uh, a petrified wooden ladle made from the ancient ones, and you drink from it the boiling mushroom concoction. And now suddenly you're out running with the elk and the deer. You are an elk and deer, and you're running free in the in the redwood, in the emerald redwood crystal forest. And and now suddenly you turn into a centaur, and you've just replaced Robert Goulet in the national touring uh, show of Camelot. And you're running, and you look at the emerald green field beneath your hooves, and it turns into a swirling hot light. And then all of a sudden you see the woman that you love, and she reaches into the void and pulls you out of the pit of nothingness. And then a huge sandstorm comes along and turns you both into sand while you kiss. And then suddenly back in your chair drenched in sweat, you yell out, HIT ME! <laughs> Bravo! Bravo, ladies and gentlemen! A little bit of stand-up from uh, from Bob Rubin. Uh, yeah, movie. thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that's yeah. just a mere. Now I tell you what's funny. That's just a mere little sample from what will be in the special, and that's only the middle point of that story. There's more to that story, but that will leave him hanging. Yeah, and does that go over good when you have an audience? I wish I. I, I probably should have before I did, asked you to do that. Should have found like some laugh track or something so I could. Well, no, that goes over really, really big, you know. And uh, the thing about it is, it it's really hard to focus on it with no crowd. You know what I mean? Like yeah. the crowd gives you focus. Yeah, but it, oh. still, it was very funny. Thanks. It's it's hard to put a meter on it. Is what I'm saying. It, it, in other words, when you got an audience, you were then judging your timing. Exactly. Yeah, but you can't do when I, some idiot, uh, halfway across, all the way across the country, says, "Stand up and do some comedy." The That's joke, the, the joke there was going to be that you can't see him except for his midsection. That was the joke, but actually, the material is pretty funny too. 
they could they see my midsection? Yes. Okay. Well, uh, you know, we'll do some more stand up as the. I, and I, I I didn't want to tell you this, but you have an erection, so it was. Uh... Oh, that's what that is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Haven't gotten I'll... one of those in a while, have you? Yeah, man. I'm starting to get worried. Uh, can you imagine though, if you were worried about that and you went to the doctor and he said you that's an erection? Uh -oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was a. Yeah, I was worried it was a tumor or something. Yeah, right. So anyway, so the, so it looks like uh, 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 um, you might you might have some bites on this thing, and it's very nice of uh, of uh, Just a nice of Patton to get behind, yeah. and then um, uh, hopefully I'll see you on Netflix. Hopefully, you know, yeah. either that or you know, it, you don't have to be on Netflix. I mean, there a lot of them. There's Hulu. Uh, there's, I mean, you've always got HBO, you've got Showtime, you've got. Uh, well, here's the thing, man. Here's the thing, you know. Stars, uh, things like that. Yeah. Here's the thing. I, I heard that Netflix, you have a potential reach. Uh, I'm just, you know, going with the potential reach. It's not what I would reach. This isn't what I would reach. But a potential reach of 800 million people. So, in other words, they're like the biggest, but they're Netflix. They don't, they're, you know, they're not. Well, actually, you know. They're pretty comedy centric. They've been doing a lot of their own uh, comedy specials, so I think people know to look for for good comedy uh, stand up specials on Netflix. But what I was getting at is there might be another platform, like there is a, a platform. NBC Universal has a CISO that was started yeah. by Amy Poehler, you know, and they're only comedy. And not only that, you know, they've got acquired shows like all the Saturday Night Lives. But they've got a lot of good British shows like Monty Python and yeah. Whitey Bush and a couple, you know, a couple other Faulty Towers. And uh, so you get a show on there, it might actually be better because they're 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 grooming an audience to become comedy fans. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you something, though, about Netflix. Uh, a, a little statistics I heard. They are almost close to I think they're just about neck and neck where they have as many subscribers as people who subscribe to cable television in the United States. Wow. So uh, that's a, a huge audience. Uh, uh, it, worldwide, I think they've, they're over 100 million. Um, wait a minute, 100 million? Yeah, over 100 million subscribers. Yeah. Uh, and I started thinking about 9.95 a month times that. And man, they're making a lot of money every month. That's why they can spend all this money on product now. Yeah, absolutely, man. That's why they make some really cool movies. You know, where you, you watch those movies and it looks like a big studio film. The other statistic I heard, and I may be wrong, it's either 60 or 70% of all internet bandwidth per day is utilized by Netflix. Whoa. Wow. So I mean, people are using Netflix like crazy, and it it, it where well, it's it's the HBO killer is what it is. Yeah. See, I'm I'm the reason I like although to HBO get on... does very well though too, so I, they can't complain. Yeah. Who does? HBO. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, the reason I'd like to get on Netflix is because I look at this show as uh uh you know not I'm not, not going to make a killing first of all selling it I'm not going to. It doesn't, you know, a complete, a complete unknown. It's nice to have, you know, Patton Oswalt backing you up, but, um, but what I'm saying is, I, it wasn't meant for that. What it's meant for, uh, especially if it gets on Netflix, is a chance to start building an audience again. You know? Well, what it does, if you're, if you hit Netflix with this thing, and it's on, you can then start getting club dates like crazy. Right, exactly. Yeah. It's a calling card. It's a heck of a calling. A heck of a calling card. Yeah, yeah. It's a great calling card. Yeah, uh, man. So yeah. keep your fingers and your toes crossed for me because uh, I got a really good feeling about ending up there. You know. Well, with Patton behind you, you've got a much better chance because uh, you know people will listen when he walks in the door and says, "Hey, you got to watch this special." They'll pay attention to. Him. Yeah, and here's the other th a great thing about that is that. Uh, I've always considered this town the Emperor's New Clothing Village, you know. So, it's in other words, the people that might be on the fence, they go, "Well, Patton, if Patton loves it, 
then I got to love it too. Yeah. And he told me, Pat told me he loves it. He's seen it, yeah. obviously. He has seen the special and he loves it. So Yeah. Uh, he, it, listen, Patton is just a, a great guy. And he. But yeah, man, he's always been a good guy. I mean, I. I would. I, I talked to him. Uh, it was about three years ago. About I just did a really good. Um, uh, what do you call those things? Those little pi a pitch demo. Uh, it was yeah, about yeah. ninety seconds long for right. a show I wanted to do called the Surprise Hit Show, and he did a little thing in it. Mm -hmm. And uh, and and Robin did a little thing in it. Yeah. Then I had these group of young players, and it was you know what it was yeah. going to be a sketch show, but it was about a guy who was completely burned out like myself. And even though he was the star of the show, he, he, he rarely showed up. So it's basically a, a, a cleverly disguised ensemble piece. About you. Know. you. <laughs> yeah, about me. But, uh, but it, you know, it's, yeah. a Bob, it's a surprise hit show starring Bob Rubin. But anyhow, you know, and then I wrote him and I, and I said to him, uh, hey, um, you know, if you came on and executive produced this thing, it'd be a no brainer. And then he got back and he goes, uh, he goes, I'm just too busy to be able to put the time into something like that. Most people, they don't even get back to you. They don't even get back to you. Exactly. Hey, listen, you know what? We've run out of time. See, I shouldn't have done all that stand up. You no, know, next time we'll have you do more. But people, people think I'm more, okay, people think I'm more sedate now because they see me on your show. Yeah. Uh, and I'm kind of all relaxed. But the difference is it's not, it's not six in the morning. I'm not at the John Bull, you know, and then it, it's it's more intimate. It's just you and I. There's no exactly. staff. There's no audience, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob Ruin. Say bye, Bob. Bye. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Okay, that was Bob Rubin, and we're so happy. We like it because uh, on top of everything else, Bob actually uh, is there uh, on video, and uh, we like having guests on video. Uh, tomorrow night, uh, by the way, uh, here, our guest will be Bobby Slayton, one of the funniest human beings alive, and an old, old, wonderful, dear friend. And uh, uh, he's going to be, we recorded it earlier today, and we're going to do the video, right? Because hey, if I can get him to do video. So I said, okay, have your Skype ready and get going. And he couldn't get the sound going. The picture looked terrible. He was doing it from his iPad. I mean, it was, uh, so we went to the phones, and we did the interview there, and it was just fine. So anyway. Let me turn on the uh, Skype line so that we can do our citizen panel. This is the hallmark of this program. <laughs> oh, hallmark. Uh, I, they just make cards, don't they? This is uh, the hallmark of, the, of, this, uh, of this little piece of crap show that we do here uh, where people call up in the, as a group and they talk to each other and they argue with each other. So the lines are now open. If you have Skype, GabNet Live is the ID to call. Uh, if you don't know how to use it, uh, really, you just go up there and go uh, uh, contacts, and or you can just call. You know, an easy way to do it, you go over to our gabnet.net page, you, you let your Skype uh, program engage, and then what you do is you press on a, on a little thing we have there. Let me see. I, I, got a, I, I did it so long ago, I forgot what the actual name of it is. Yeah, it's an S. It's like a Skype sign, and it says call, and you click on that, and that way you can use Skype to call us. So if you don't know how to use Skype, it'll, it'll do it for you, okay? Uh, and also we have a phone number. The phone number is also there at cabinet.net. All on the right-hand side of the page is just a whole little quick primer on, on how to do this, okay? So... Uh, good luck to all of you in, in calling us, and uh, uh, you'll you'll see how it uh, how it happens in a moment as we uh, as we talk to some people. Uh, let me see here. Here comes Scott Boddicker. Uh Hello, Scott. How are you this evening, my friend? Good out. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. I'm surviving. Uh, the cat the cat is gone. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, the cat is uh, has been. Uh, Dispatched back to her parents. 
And I, uh, I know you love that cat. You only had it a little while, but you still loved it, well, didn't you? You know something? It was really... Oh, hey, I, I haven't even gone over to you. There we go. Now we have you on there. Wait a minute. Here comes Rob. And here comes Phil. And uh, uh, with the new system, nobody gets thrown off and everybody's there. See? They're all there at one time. No, uh, I, I, we loved having the cat here. It became part of the household, you know. Uh, it's amazing how wonderful it is when you're just two people living together. And all of a sudden, there's another heartbeat in the apartment, you know, and another living entity. And I came to really love this cat. And she's brilliant. And, you know, but here's, uh, Rob has cats. Rob, the, the, her, her owner, came by tonight to pick her up along with her uh, man friend. I guess that's the best way to describe him. Uh, uh, how do you think the cat reacted? Probably very cold because like, hmm, you're back. Well, you left me. I'm having a good time here. Uh, yeah, well, now you're assuming, first of all, the cat would suddenly recognize the person. Yeah, my cat rec my cats recognize well, me for sure. They by smell if nothing else by by scent. Not only did they it, you know when people other people have come into the apartment during this 10-day period, this cat will go hide under something or whatever. This cat's all walked in the door and immediately walked right over to her. And yeah. uh you know, uh turned around, gave us the finger and went away. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds Thanks, like pal. See ya. Thanks, thanks for the room to run, you know. See ya. <laughs> Sounded Outta like here. your listeners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Outta no, uh, but the, but the, 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 you know, I, we just, we just fell in love with this cat. So now we're thinking about getting a cat, and we're thinking about maybe a rescue, you know, because this was a rescue cat, and she was wonderful and bright and smart and loving. You know, so you, you know, I don't know. I've, we got to we got to think this one over because we have to put screens in all the windows, and we got to you know, so kitties can't commit a little kitty suicide. Yeah. Do yeah. do cats that have psychological problems spray all over the place? No, that's a male. Well, have, that's a male, and, that. and and yeah. if you have them altered, that's not going to happen. I see. However, right. if you come up in our elevator in this building, it yeah. smells like cat cum. Uh, because well, what happened is in the basement they went before. they had a they had a rat problem, so they went and got a bunch of cats, male cats, who went mm -hmm. down there and they rutted with other female cats. And uh, when it's uh, when everything's in season, you can smell because I I remember from the old days when I had a male cat who wasn't spayed, what that smells like. And our elevator smells like kitty cum. Well, I'm sorry. I happen to know that it's from Mrs. Lefkowitz on the sixth floor. No, oh. no, no. <laughs> yeah, she's got a lot of cats. Uh, it, it, no, but it just, it, um, uh, no, if, if you have them altered, that doesn't, you don't have that problem, you know. I see. And the technology in cat boxes has changed since I was a kid, and now they don't even stink. I mean, they, they've got them set up so there's like a pad underneath, so when they pee, they pee through the thing. To, onto the pad. You know about what I'm talking about, don't you, Rob? I have robots. Litter robots. What? Yeah, I'll show you. I'll take you into the living room where Jack and Maxie's. Well, we have two of them, but this is so we could go away for a few days. Yeah. I'll show you. Okay, everybody who's, who's watching us on uh, on uh, on uh, the, uh, on the on the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, I don't know if you can see Facebook that or not. Live. Facebook Live. What few people are watching us on Facebook Live tonight? Uh, let me see here. I don't. We can't. We can't see. It's too dark. Is there any way to get some light in there? Whoa. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's. A, let me see here. Here, here he's going to turn on the lights. There we go. And now we're going to look at this. Uh, this uh, ro robot. Ca look at that. Spaceship. Excuse me, but what is that? Is that a kitty transporter or something like that? Hey, see, Mike, don't move your mic around. You're making a lot of noise. You see what that is? The cat goes in there, right? Yeah. And, and never then comes out. ten minutes it, after the cat leaves, yeah. this happens. This happens. What is? Hey, who's who's using? Who's rattling their microphone around? It's not me. Oh, okay. Uh, we really can't see it that well 
Uh, you, you need a little okay. more light on it. Looks it looks like a robotic cube. So what what or, what happens hey. when, when they leave? What does it do? Flush it itself or something? Do you see it spinning? Can you I see it? Spin? No, if you have more light in there, we probably could see it. But I can uh, see it spin. Ca can you? Yeah. Let me see. It's rotating. Oh, very yeah. the, the the eye of it is is turning very slowly. Yeah. The globe uh, is turning. It's a globe. Yeah. Yeah. And what it does is you use clumping litter yeah. and all the clumps and anything else gets put down in the bottom. Yeah. And then you see where that body you see where this piece is down here. I'm gonna put my foot. See this? Yeah. Where my foot is? Yeah. Yeah. That's but, but, that's it, a drawer. You pull that where that black thing is on the bottom. That's a drawer. You pull that drawer out and you cinch up the garbage bag and you throw it out like once a week. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. See the technology? In the old days, it was just a plastic, a little paper carton uh, uh, box that you put litter in, and the cats went in it, and, and then you had to somehow get rid of the shit. Let me show you the other really cool high-tech thing that we had to buy. Oh. A bro this well, I'll show you in the light because it's small. Is this another kitty thing? Yep. <laughs> this is a high-tech food uh can you see that? Yeah. Yeah. So when when my older cat, because the the younger one, let me do eats this. all the. Can you see yeah. this this thing here? Yeah. The the food is in here. My my older cat has to wear uh, a, a tag around her neck, or you can get them injected with a chip. And when she walks up to this, this happens. The door opens. Mm-hmm. And the cat can eat, and then when she walks away, yeah. the door closes. Yeah. This this way, Jack, the, the 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 one who hoards all the food, doesn't steal her food. And and he's got his own. No, he has just a regular open. He just has a regular open, uh, yeah. old fashioned. We only have one of those because Maxie is a grazer and she eats slow, where the other one just gloms the food down. And would eat her food. We'd have no way of knowing what she was eating. Wow! So did you did you chip the uh, 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 did you chip them? They are not chipped. That comes with a chip that you put on a you put on a um, a collar, yeah. and it just hangs around her neck. Yeah. And so when she walks up to it, the door opens. She could eat. When she walks away, the door closes, and it confounds the crap out of the kitten because yeah. he's like. What the fuck? I walk up to it and I can't eat. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And he tries to, he, he gave up on it, but for a long time, he was trying to figure out how to get in it. Wow. So, so uh, the, uh, the technology has changed. Yeah, I have to get one. How much did that, uh, first of all, how much did the rotating kitty spinner cost? <laughs> you don't want to know. No. <laughs> uh, like 400 bucks. 400 bucks? What, what's it called? It's called the it's called the uh, litter robot. The litter robot. Now, now I will tell you, there's mm -hmm. a whole bunch of these mm -hmm. out there. Yeah. And I've had different types, and they all go bad, or they're a pain in the ass to clean because they get all gummed up with poop and whatever else. Yeah. This one, I have one here in the corner. It's the older model of it, and I've had it now for oh wow eight nine years. You can't break it. You can take it outside and squirt it down with a hose and clean it. It comes apart. Parts are all replaceable, and they're not crazy expensive. It's it's a uh, it's an awesome product. And it really once is. It, once you can again, go away. They always have clean litter. What's again? What's it called? The the um, litter litter robot. Litter robot. Litter, wow. Litter robot. You know uh, uh, that that uh, um, that almost beats out Renee's uh, pussy washer. What? <laughs> You know, maybe the, it should have the technology that way. Hello to Jeff. Hello to Mike, who's oh, yeah. joined us. Uh, and uh, hello to the audience, who uh, some of them are listening, I guess. Uh, I, uh, what was I going to say? Um, uh, I have nothing to talk about. So see you later. Oh, nothing? You know. After a day um, like today, there's we, nothing. We how about, uh, oh, uh, some, something uh, happened yeah. today? No. Yeah, we have to really congratulate Donald J. Trump. What he's he's he doing? He fell down the stairs again. He's doing everything he can to get us to forget Russia. Well, <laughs> he, did, he did do a really good thing today. What did he do? But but of course he fucked it up with another really bad thing. So nobody's talking about the really good thing he did. What, what's the good thing? 
Well, he, he, he made a deal with a company that builds all of the LCD screens for Apple. No, and, no, uh, no, 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 no. Let me, no, you're wrong. That's maybe that's the way. Wait a minute. No, wait. wait, wait minute, I didn't wait, say. Wait a minute. Wait, <laughs> the, no, <laughs> you're, you're talking. Uh, you're talking about one. Of Here the, we go. You're talking about one of the worst companies in the world. Its name is Foxconn. Foxconn. These right. are the people that had to put nets up outside their building because people were committing suicide from working with this organization. Uh, but but that will not be allowed to happen in the U.S. Not yet. Trump's not been elect- elected long and enough. And Trump to had nothing to do with getting it over here. Uh, it really well, was he Apple's. He had next to him today. They, he said that they negotiated. And, but they didn't negotiate with Donald Trump. They negotiated with the uh, the governor of Wisconsin. What's his name? Yeah. And, and, Paul, and, and no, actually, no, no, no. and actually, the company that you know figured out where it was going to go was Apple. You know, they pointed him in the direction. Hey, let's build it in Wisconsin. But. You know, these people have been building the Apple Watches for years and under slavish conditions. So, I mean, why is this the kind of company that Donald Trump said, oh, and this guy is uh, one of the b- best businessmen in, in, in all of the entire world. This guy is a, you, uh, deals in human, uh, it's not trafficking, it's not the word I'm looking for, but human misery, okay? And pays them a little bit of money so that they can have something, rather than paying them what they should get. So that when so Phil could. comes on here, talks about China and how all the underpaid people, Foxconn is the main person that uh, group so that does. So you should that. be proud that you wear a uh, an Apple. Watch. No, I'm not for that reason. But the fact is uh-huh. that Foxconn also builds Samsungs, LGs. You know, right, right. you you can't get away from them. So I, I can't, you know, um, hold uh, uh, Apple's feet to the fire because I, I, you know, I'd have to go around with no technology at all. But do they build them because they are the cheapest uh, at, at That's building? That's correct. And so well, what's going to happen? That won't be the case they, anymore now. Right. What happens when they start paying well, who, Wisconsin who, who prices? Knows, who, who knows? Who knows? It'll cost you 10 more dollars. Well, if, if, well, you know, if they're going to pay, if they're going to pay these people what Donald Trump pays workers at Mar-a-Lago, you're not talking about a big, uh, a big amount of money. You're talking about eleven bucks an hour. Yeah, I don't know about. That. I, I don't know. I mean, that's 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 a Maybe guess. I'll, why? What's the weather like in uh, Wisconsin? Well, ask Patrick. Oh, I don't think oh, he'll like it. Yeah, it's it's not it's not it's not great. Uh, but no, Scott Walker was the guy who put that that whole thing together. Uh, and I mean, who, who knows? So, how- but, but would that have happened if Trump didn't change some of the regulations that made it a little more attractive? I think, to, and I, I'm I'm playing devil's advocate here. I'm trying to give him. And that, I think Donald this was Trump in. I think. The doubt here uh, well, let's bit. not do that. That's a dangerous thing to do. <laughs> you know. Well, uh, you know, maybe he'll hire all of the uh, transgender military people that he fired today. Mm-hmm. Well, now you see, there you went and you said it. Yeah. 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 You had to go well, there, didn't you, Phil? Yeah, absolutely. But, you know, I guess they're all going to Wisconsin. Uh, you know, it, he's they're under contract. Uh, the military can tell them where to go and what to do. So it uh, looks like Wisconsin and they'll build watches for Foxconn at 11 bucks an hour. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, yeah. So uh, we, we had that little thing going on today. Uh, and, and, you know, I mean... Yes, it mean, will mean some work for some people at low wages. Uh, Foxconn is a terrible company to work for. Um, well, they are outside the U.S. We really don't. I mean, we do have laws here that are different. Yeah, but if they're it's used not- to working a certain way, even though they have to work within those laws, they're going to try and just skirt those laws as much as possible. You know that. Well, they're going to give them the bare essentials of what they need to, to give them in order to meet the, uh, you know, the regulations, right? Yeah, I guess. We know that. But so many businesses do that. It's not like, uh, you know, I mean, it's uh, that's not anything new. It's still thirteen up to 13,000 new jobs in the area, which, hey, if I lived there, I'd be happy about that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, repen- so, I mean, I, you know, I'm trying to find some positive because – the, the day start and but the, think of the idiocy of this whole thing is this guy knows this is coming down this morning and he he goes and tweets this thing about the LBGTQ 
you know, people in the in the military. Transgenders. And, Transgenders. and nobody is talking about what he, he could have had a day where he could have won a little bit. He could have been a, a hero, but instead it's yeah. overshadowed by the, the dumbass. Yeah, movie. say, say that. What's uh, the, re- the reason why he did it today? Because he's stupid yeah. is why he did it today when he could have had a good story. Alex, he Alex could have had a good story. He had, could have had a good, like Rob said, he could have had a good story with the with the Wisconsin deal. But no, no, it wasn't timing. You can wait till you, tomorrow. Wait for a minute. Everything is stupid to you. Yeah. Tomorrow. Well, no, everything coming out of your mouth is stupid to me. Well, look, if you don't want to be a moron, well, well, listen to me for a minute. Uh, what what the situation is is tomorrow the the deal changes for transgenders where the medical would have had to be paid in the military and it would have cost uh, a significant amount of money. I don't know eight how much. Eight million bucks. Yeah, eight million. Oh, bucks. Well, that's a and, lot of money. Well, that's a lot of government money, I'm, isn't I'm it? Not, I'm not defending him. I'm just telling you why the decision was made and what, today. And why? What were they spending the eight million on? Uh, just some sort of uh, support for the transgender it, thing. It's for, it's for shots, for hormone shots, and for yeah. uh, for surgeries. Uh, now, do, what do they could have done. Do you is know they said, spend more money than that every month on Cialis? Uh, yeah. On That's Cialis? Yes. Yeah. There are 2,600 but, transgenders in in the military. Uh, no, I heard an estimate today of only about 500. Oh well, okay. I heard up to up to sixty six hundred is about. I heard it it's all over the place. Here's the reason why we don't know because some people don't say they are or aren't. You know, right. how the hell can you get away with that in the military? I mean, you, there's not that much privacy. Yeah, right. But I'm, what I'm saying is, with uh, transgender, uh, it, it you know there it isn't that much upkeep. And what I'm saying is, the government does pay for people to use Cialis, for their military to use Cialis, and the Cialis costs them more every month than this would cost them. Well, Kaiser doesn't pay for my Cialis. That's right. But what's, what's the reasons that they pay for those things? Why don't they just tell the transgender community, you can be a member of the armed forces, you could, you know, you, but we're not paying for these surgeries and we're not paying for this, uh, the, these treatments, and, and then leave it to them uh, to the, decide. That, that's a, you bring up a very good point. He could have just said, look, you know, it's okay if you want to be a transgender and be in the military. Yeah. We have no problem with that. It's just that we are not going to pay for hormone shots and things like that, that you have to do that at your expense. I don't, I don't know why they were going to do it, but for some reason there was some oh, mandate it could be in compa- there. It could be if, compassion. Well, it, beyond compassion, this is just... Uh, they made a decision, I guess, and he says no, no, no. that the military generals were the ones that advised them to do it. No, 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 no. They were wait, doing wait, wait, wait. a six months survey on it. They were doing oh. the, the 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 chiefs the, the chiefs of uh, the four branches of government were doing a survey to find out how much it was costing and whether or not it was something that they wanted to be in the business of doing. They were one month in, and Trump woke up this morning and shocked all of them. By making this decision, uh, five I, months. I, I saw on CBS News tonight that they said that uh, the decision had to be made to, uh, or it, in, it went into effect tomorrow. And if they didn't do it today, uh, uh, then well, it would have Well, gone the into fact effect. that he signs a, an executive order doesn't necessarily make it fly. It was an ex- executive order. He did it by tweet. He yeah, did he it by tweet. It You're anything. absolutely right. Yeah, well. Uh, Proclamation by Twitter. Yes, uh, but Scott, uh, ex- 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 tell us a little more, Scott. Well, I, I just did. Yeah. So all does, he just tweets these things, and it becomes law. It's amazing. I love it. I wish I could do that. Tweet it so. I've spoken. <laughs> what do you think, Jeff? I think the president uh, is trying to run the country the way he wants to run it, which is quite different than, than the way other people have done it, like... For a couple of hundred people who've done this as, as yeah. being president, yeah, I just, I just think the guy is uh, think so. being a little bit crazy. I think he's nuts. I think he's absolutely nuts. Uh, he hasn't taken his pills lately. Yeah, he should get that gender reassignment he's so desperately needing. You know, he's really Melania. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> here, here, here comes Tim. He's done his research today, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, we'll hear it. We'll, and he's we'll posted get... it on Facebook. Yes, right, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Tim. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, they found out the real reason for the uh, the anti-LBGTY uh, 
No, no, no it wasn't L L B G T Y. It was just no, against no, it was trans transgender. Transgender. But did you hear what? Did you hear what the Department of Justice did? No. They basically stopped representing gay people under the Civil Rights Act today. Also, so they're attacking on all fronts, and that's I posted that to Facebook along with the article See? that Trump, Trump wants to get the Democrats to have to to uh, defend transgender people and lose votes in you know the purple states. So I posted both of those on the Facebook next to the yeah. But I heard, and it's all over Facebook because my wife was listening to watching some of these clips. No, no, no. Donald Trump, all through the campaign, talking about how he was a friend to oh. these oh, folks. Absolutely. And how he was going to, he was going to be the one, what, Hillary, who was talk and I'm action. He was the one who was saying all these wonderful things, how he was going to protect them and be their best friend. And then he goes and he does this. No, he, he turns said, on everybody. He's He's turning. He has turned on everybody except family. He says the LBGQ and uh, why, why? I don't know what that one is. But, why uh, is because after you are all those things, you go why? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you know, Donald Trump says they love me. <laughs> that's what that's, he said. Yeah, they're gonna yeah. sit out there with the rope and hang them. Yeah. Uh, he goes that big fat ass out the door. What were you say, What were you saying, Tim? It's a part of a big scheme. It goes along with the sham of this voter fraud uh, investigation, which is all people that are experts in voter suppression. And I think they want a court case where they can actually start gathering our personal information from the various states. So when, once you get a hold of that data, and then it, they appointed to the head of the criminal division of the Department of Justice a guy that was working for Alpha Bank from Russia. Up until the day he was appointed, he started his confirmation. It was he was selected. He worked for Alpha Bank, and they're the ones supposed to be investigating Manafort for all the money laundering, t tens of millions of dollars of money laundering. Tim, do you know why they call it Alpha Bank? Because VE Bank isn't really a bank, so they had to have come up with a different. No, name. Alpha. It comes first in the yellow pages. Oh, well, it should be a <laughs> quadruple A then. Yeah. You know, is that the name of your company? Four A carpets? <laughs> uh, no, but it would be a good idea. Uh, it was ABC when I first opened it up, and I got a cease and desist letter from the guy in New York, ABC Carpet. Uh, well, you should call it Trump Carpet. Well, it doesn't matter. You worry it, about Google search. The, 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 concept, the concept that you have to be first in the phone book is kind of an antiquated notion. I know. There's right. no more phone books. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, you know, yeah, and I guess uh, when it comes to uh, organic listings on the uh, on the uh, on Google, uh, it doesn't matter what you're called. It depends on uh, your your presence. Yeah, yeah you no. got to have a good web a web uh, team is what you need. Yeah, 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 yep, yep, yep. So I mean, um, I don't know. I just uh, I just think that uh, having a, a transgender people in the military uh, is should not be considered a problem. It isn't anywhere else in the world. Military is everywhere. Take, uh, it should reflect our society, right, Alex? It should reflect our society. And, uh, you know, to use some kind of, what can we call it, uh, uh, stupid excuse that, you know, you don't want to have to pay for their hormone shots. Oh. And it's only going to cost $8 million, And God knows we, we, we shit that much money every second in this country. Yeah, uh, he may be playing to his base, uh, but... Um uh, you know, as far as trying to uh, to get some more support, because the support fell to 35 percent today. You, you know, I don't if buy. We spend okay, a hell wait, a lot more wait, than eight million to keep hold, Barron and New hold, York to go to. Hold school. on a second. I don't buy this whole thing about playing to your base. You know, you won the fucking election. Forget your fucking base and be president of all the people. He's thinking uh, about the next election. Yeah, well, well, I, I he. Don't, I don't think he's going to. Uh, you he want my opinion? Elected. No, he. I don't think he's going to run. I think he'll be dead by then. Does this guy look like the kind of guy that has another four years of life left in him? No. Yeah. Yes, Mike. Melania. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're absolutely right, Alex. Because I don't think that man's going to live that long. It's rough more. Yeah. The way he looks, he looks like a he looks like the Goodyear blimp. Well, he needs to put a little more hot air and I'll keep him going. I wouldn't be surprised if we woke up one morning and they said the president is dead. He had a heart attack last night. You know, 
Hey, Mike. But, but, uh, but, uh, Je- Jeff, Jeff was giving me an, an acknowledgement look. So let me. I, I agree on your, your assessment that Trump may be in the heart attack plan yeah. before he becomes a running president again. Yeah. So, Jeff, would you sell him a, 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 a medical item that, that could save him if he needed no. it? And you, and you were selling him? Of course I would. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Of course he would, because he's a decent he human being. He probably needs a CPAP machine during the day and during the night. You better yeah. get a cash on delivery because he won't pay you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Negotiate it down. Hell, uh, let me, we've been joined by Kevin, and we've been, we've been joined by, uh, uh, of course, huh? Brian as well. What? Hello. Now we got nine. We have nine? Do we have nine already? Son of a bitch. Yeah. Yes. I'll be. And we, we have a ton of people watching the TV feed, so everybody strip. No, uh, let me see here. That's what we need. We need a, a topless woman on this panel. And then, then, to begin with, none of us would be able to talk. And secondly, uh, it, would, it would just, we had all kinds of viewers and stuff. But then you know, I, then I, I, I think all of us, other than. Jeff and Scott maybe are going to uh, Trump's personal trainer. You know, Mike was making fun of uh, Trump's uh, size, but I, I think Mike has got a uh, you know has got sort of uh, a Trump belly envy. And uh, you know. hey, at least I don't look like the Goodyear blip. Yeah. Where I can sit out with lip blip a uh, little blip uh, Trump fly up in the air. All of us can take a pot shot at him. All I'm All saying right. is he has a very... Trump's problem is he refuses to admit that he's overweight. I willingly you admit that I'm overweight. And uh, don't shy away from it. I know I'm fat. But, uh, you know, Trump will uh, go on and, and lambast and criticize women, especially on their looks. <laughs> yeah, that's well, true. He's a fucking pig himself in more ways than one. Yeah. I saw something on Facebook. Trump was trying to sell steak, called Trump Steak. Yeah. And it was just, and for a good price, we can sell you a nice prime steak. I go, yeah, you son of a bitch, you would probably do it. No, he had Trump Steaks there for a while. He yeah. also had Trump, didn't he have Trump Vodka or something like that as well? Uh, it didn't work, no. Uh, no, I mean, he, he had a lot of Trump items. He, he, it, all Trump has done with his career in recent years is sell his name. Even the buildings that have his name on them, he didn't build. Well, he has Trump ties, you know. Yeah, which uh, are made in China. Yeah, what are they? Extra long, they hit, they go all the way to the floor, don't they? <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. now, you can throw it over the side. You can throw it over the side somewhere. Hang it yourself. looks like he, when he's wearing his tie, it looks like he's wearing it to hide his penis. And that well, wasn't had, the uh, the original idea of the tie. His name, Jackie <laughs> Harting Alex. Do you, right, right. What, what, what? What'd you say, Trump Brian? The, he's made it. He, he's done stunts on stunts on the, the Howard Stern show, and so there's this guy named Jackie. I think his name is Jackie Hartling or Martin Link. Martin. Jackie Martin. Yeah. He had a joke on. I saw on YouTube once. It was hilarious. It goes, uh, "What's 14 inches? What's 14 inches long and hangs on the end of an asshole?" I Donald don't know. Trump's tie. Trump, Donald tie. Trump's tie. Yeah. Yeah. Trump has Russian ties, doesn't he? That's right. <laughs> yeah, you know, you, you know what the you biggest doesn't have is? African ties. What, 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 what were you saying, Tim? You know what the biggest tell is this week? The biggest what? The biggest tell of how he's how much worried. He's going after Sessions, so we know he's worried. Yeah. The, the biggest tell is Ivanka now has a criminal defense lawyer. Yeah. Really? She yes, does too. Absolutely. Oh my and Lord. Kushner has a he's got the best. Plus he had Trey Gowdy helping him out in the in the in the uh, confession session he went to. Trey Gowdy was uh, propping him up yeah. pretty well, I guess. Some talk show hosts used to refer to somebody as the, as a such and such crime family. It might have been Clinton. I can't remember. But if any crime family existed, it's this one. It's probably Limbaugh. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, this is yeah. This is this is all very shabby stuff, you know. I I I, I watch the news and then I have to take a shower, you know. Yeah. And that's how I feel. <laughs> you, you know, he's not Nixon. People got him confused with Nixon. You know who he is? He's Agnew. He just happens to be the president, so the vice president. Well, I I think uh, nah. There's nobody like Donald Trump because there's never been a situation like Donald Trump. 
Um, I mean, what what qualified this man to be president? You know, the thing is, I wrote something today, and, and Phil obviously Seven, saw it. I, I, I said, what? Uh, you asked what qualified him to be president, and I said 270-something or 300-something electoral co of, uh, college votes. That's, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, qualified Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 that's the, what got him elected. That's not a qualification. Well, he, all he had to do was be over 35 and uh, born in the United States. Yeah, well, you know, I just think that a guy who never served a day in the military to sit around and say who should be in it should keep his fucking mouth shut. I, I posted a photo of Trump in a uniform. Yes, uh, at a military academy, and you had the colossal gall to say that was like serving in the military. I didn't say that. I just said he's wearing a uniform. Yeah. You he know? was put there because of his attitude problems. He yeah, was he getting was in trouble. And all. He, he had lots of um, uh, behavioral issues, and there was the only place they could put him to get him in his place was military academy. Mm -hmm. By the way, ADH. By the way, when we get that line in the bottom of the screen there, you know what that means? It's a full house. Yeah. I don't know. It automatically does that. I have no idea why, but it, it constitutes a full house. Hello, yeah. Tony. How are you? Oh, hi. Yeah. I see. It's a fun day with Trump. You know something? You got to admit, I, I was going to say something. I, we had this cat here for 10 days, as you know, and we took 8,000 photographs of the cat, and we kept always doting on the cat. And then we suddenly realized that this cat just knew how to attract attention. You know, mm -hmm. uh, if, if, if you wanted to not pay attention to her, she would start doing something like, I'm going to jump on that curtain over there, you know, and then you stop her, right? And, and, and she's lying on the floor, rub my belly. She, you know, she's always an intention. She was an intention whore. And that's Trump. I mean, Trump is, is driving the national conversation each and every day. You can't tune in any of these newscasts, whether it's Fox or whether it's CNN, where they aren't talking about at least two or three things that Trump has done that day. And, you know, there were used to be some days that you didn't hear about Obama. You, you know, there was no drama going on. But every day Trump no has scandal. to create. Yeah, he has to create this drama. And so we wind up every night here talking about Trump, where we could talk about how cute that kitty was that I had, you know? I have a, I have a about theory on Scaramucci. Yeah? I have a theory on Scaramucci. Scary Coochie. I, I've come to call him that. Scary Coochie. I think he's working for Pence or Putin. And he's, Harry he's, he's he's going to accelerate Trump crashing and burning because he's he you know the tweet storm was four times normal after Scaramucci took over he's firing everybody he's convinced Trump that everybody's leaking they're going to have to fire everybody the guy is driving them in, in, into psychosis I think yeah, he's Scaramucci, Scaramucci is, is there That's for, a good point. for That's a and really Scaramucci good point Scaramucci still hasn't sold his company. The sale hasn't gone through. He's got worldwide holdings in all and, of, and, and, in like and, 80 and, different countries. And there's a chance he's not going to be able to get rid of those holdings because right. he, the government's going to hold them up. So he's going to have to then quit his post in order to then sell his holdings. You see another Michael Milken, maybe? He just hasn't I, been caught yet. I, yeah, I don't know. You know, I mean, it, it isn't a question whether he's a Michael Milken or not. It's uh, who's he Milken? Uh, you know, I mean, this is, it's just, it's all so tawdry and, and terrible. And, uh, I just, you know, I mean, it is, it, it's like, uh, it's, it's like he, he, Trump doesn't know even how to do things to save his own ass. In other words, you know, it's a soap opera. when you, when, when you say there is nothing to uh, going on with the Russia thing, and then you're trying to get rid of Sessions because he recuses himself from the Russia thing. And everybody he gets rid of or everybody he tries to discredit are people that are promoting the Russia link. And, and then you're, you're firing these people. Don't you look a little suspicious? He's getting a lot of pushback from the Republican Senate on uh, the way he's treating Sessions. Well, because yeah, he, he fires Sessions and Sessions says he ain't quitting. So you he's going to have Sessions to fire him if he wants him out. You know why Sessions isn't quitting? Right. He's close to the. Uh, he's very close to the investigation that Mueller's doing. 
he probably knows a little bit of what Mueller has, just from the people he's working around, and he probably knows that the Trump family's goose has been cooked, and Mueller is the one to go well, after. Well, let me ask, let me ask Phil this, since Phil is the uh, uh, the guy who's got his tongue up Trump's ass. Uh, oh. <laughs> Give me, give me an answer to this question, Phil. Why is it so important to Donald Trump that the Russia investigation be stifled if he isn't guilty of anything? He should be happy to say, go and investigate it. I'm clean. Okay. Uh, you'll let me complete the answer? Yes. All right. I, I don't. I don't believe that he's stifling the investigation. Shut up, Phil. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm uh, kidding. I believe that uh, he was miffed at Sessions because Sessions didn't disclose something that made him have to recuse himself, and he didn't want uh, uh, Sessions. He w he would have chosen somebody else if he knew that Sessions wasn't clean. And uh, I believe that that's what Trump is saying, and it's being reinterpreted. No, 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 no. but there's more to it than that. I hide something. But there's more to it than that, Phil. There, there is a, uh, a notion here, among other things, that this guy is trying to get Mueller thrown out. Uh, and all, anybody that's, he wants to stifle and stop the Russia investigation. He should be happy and delighted that people are investigating and saying, I'm clean, go ahead, have your day. Where did he say he wanted to get rid of Mueller? Uh, he's talked about it. He's asked about uh, a, re uh, a recess appointment. Right. If he could appoint an AG during the recess. Oh, an AG? That has nothing to do with Mueller. Oh, shit. No, but, he, he no, but if he puts the right Mueller, AG anyway, in there, he if he puts the right AG in there, that AG will fire Mueller. He wants McCain out of there now. He wants McCain out. He said that. He He's want. complained about McCain getting money from um, Hillary Clinton's machine when she ran, when his wife ran down in Virginia. Hmm. He's going He's, after everybody. He supported Hillary Clinton in his time. He's given right. the Clintons money. He's nuts. But you know who's the point? I don't think we should be concerned with Trump. We really need to be concerned with these wimpy Republicans. That's yep. who we should be concerned with. I agree. And even even McCain turned on him. Everybody there. Well, th this is a third big story of the day, and mm. that is, of course, that in this case you have uh, um, 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 the repeal vote. The repeal vote uh, completely falling apart. Yes, but well, that will still leave an opening for the uh, for the uh, congressional uh, uh, version. Uh, right. And, so, uh, you know, just because the repeal thing fell apart, what he's done is he silenced Rand Paul. And uh, how's, he si how's he silenced Rand Paul? I didn't know there Rand was such a thing. Well, Rand Paul was the one that wanted the repeal uh, without the replace. And uh, so, well, by, yeah, so by now letting this go to a vote and that being a, a, a moot point, uh, Rand Paul is silenced and either will get on board with the New Deal, uh, but what he's done is, I think, it was very smart. Uh, they're they're I mean, throwing it back to the House, is what they're doing. Yeah. They have to comply with the House. The Senate, who is supposed to be the deliberative, deliberative body here, is punting. Yes. Punting. Yes. It's like a hot potato. Yes. Did, did so, you hear the little speech that uh, Schumer gave today? Yeah. He said it's like a hot potato. Nobody wants to hold on to it. Yeah. Because you know what? What's going to happen is the Democrats are going to now start proposing. They're going to start they're coming to the floor with bills, and it and they're going to have the Republicans shoot all these bills down. And yep. all that's going to do is put them in a bad light. Well, that's, that's what when it comes time to vote. Well, that's Rob, what they're going to do. Going to try to do, and that's their intention is to uh, is to try to paint it that way so that re-election time in 2018 they can say oh well somebody you know such and such voted against uh you know helping little old ladies across the street and uh you know oh, that, that's pretty well <laughs> let me t let me let me ask questions of a few people who have been quiet tonight uh, kevin what do you think about all of this i mean isn't it suspicious to you that the president is constantly trying to stifle this russia investigation well, I, absolutely yeah, you know, the way I look at it, he should be sitting back and letting it happen. And you know, if there's nothing to hide, there's nothing to hide, okay. and it'll come out. 
Yeah. Why? Why are you? Why are you so worried about it? I mean, you make yourself look suspicious. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, and, and then hiring people, wow. uh, like sessions and that sort of thing, and then turning around saying, you know, he's a piece of shit. That he's done that with several people already. Well, also, I mean, here's a guy who demands loyalty from people, and yet he has no loyalty for other for people exactly. who've been loyal to him. I mean, sessions. There was nobody who was probably more. In, at the very, very beginning in Donald Trump's camp than Sessions. More than he's, Phil? He's the definition of a backstabber. More than Phil. Phil was, wow. was still looking around the Republican Party for who he might want to vote for. At that yeah. time, Sessions was out stumping for Donald Trump. But what you, you, may have, you may have heard him earlier. I don't know if you did or not. I, you guys may have talked about it, but when he talked about comparing himself to the best president being the most presidential since since abraham lincoln yeah. hello but you know what happened yeah. to abraham lincoln he shot him yeah. this is all, <laughs> in the the it's all fake news you know, I'm reading it's article. all fake He's news wait a minute is that no, is that the way you take no, is that the way the way you drop this not it's it's un uh un uh people that are uh, speaking uh, with anonymity uh, he here in, said article, it, I saw it. in the Los Angeles Times, a close friend of Donald Trump's said the president is considering perhaps terminating special counsel Mueller. A close friend. They don't name the close friend. Uh, all of this is, is absolute bullshit. And, yeah. and it's no different than the innuendo and these, and these supposed uh, sources that they have. And that's what Donald Trump calls fake news. And, you know, he's right. They got He's good not sources, right. So no, he, they don't have, uh, like, anonymous people in the dark. they got real sources to work for the government. Well, where's his name? How, this close friend of sources Donald Trump. Never, sources are never <laughs> listed, or they wouldn't be able to be sources. No, nah, it's a close friend of Donald Trump. Says that he may perhaps one of his kiss ass boys. Maybe perhaps. You know, you're calling something no, fake news that is boy. simply reporting <laughs> something that someone came across. As, and yeah, and they publish it as a news item, but they are nice enough to say that an unnamed source says, so that you can take, you can say exactly what you just said. Uh, well, we don't know how can we trust this, but the, to label f the news as fake is something that Hitler did because he wanted to silence the press in Germany. It is an well, old tactic, and it is very Nazi-like, and it's scary. Well, that 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 you That's know. What he did. Trump's a dictator. You no, know, Trump's not. A, and Trump's not a dictator. We don't. We, all of those things. That's total bullshit. You use that Trump as a, is a dictator. Wait a minute. Wait a You're going to tell me that Hitler didn't try to discredit the press? Hitler has nothing to do with our press. It has a. It has a lot to do with the way you're doing business. I mean, I had. You know, I. I have this friend who was who was a in a concentration camp. And he uh -huh. said, what's going on now, he saw go on once before, and it scares the shit out of him. And I said, that's one man's story. Yeah, but it's one man's story, but he's a man who was in a concentration camp. You never Peter were. Was there. And he was yeah. there, and he saw it going on. And if you'd read a little, right if you'd read a little history, you could see it going on, too. Yeah, It'll but you see, interesting. Adolf Hitler said, the Jews are stealing your money, they're stealing your women, they're stealing your homes. Uh, this guy says, an un the Mexicans are stealing your money. The Mexicans are stealing your women. The Mexicans are stealing your homes. Well, yeah. Yes, uh, yes, <laughs> yeah. Mike. Uh, our <laughs> transgenders are uh -uh. ruining the military. Uh -uh. No. Oopsie. Mike's got his hand up. Then, then Tony. Okay. Wait a minute. Mike's Bill. got his hand up. Then, then Bill. Tony. You know, you said that uh, uh, Trump. Uh, Trump is a dictator. He's doing the same crap as Hitler did back in '33. All the way to the end of the war. So you're one of those guys that say history repeats itself. Yes, it does. It absolutely. Yeah, well, this, and this, this Hitler, is it, I, Hitler is like Trump, and Trump is like Hitler. This he is the to press everything. This, this so is don't the get the shit to support Mike, son of a bitch. Mike, this is the swamp being uh, being flushed down the toilet. Yeah, this, this, and being replaced by new and being replaced by the new sewage. Wait a minute, wait a minute, and being replaced by the new sewage. We hold on a second and replaced by the new sewage, which is Trump. You yeah, know. he's just uh, he's just putting more turds in the bowl. He's picking these people up, <laughs> and they gotta and he's gotta keep pulling them back out and yeah. firing them. Tony, 
this is what follows me with Trump, one of the many, is that he tweets on Twitter, right? And the way he was like, and I'm not a Hillary Clinton fan or anything to that extent, but like he's almost like propaganda it, like we got to go after Hillary. Still. We got to do this. We got. It's like I've never seen a president in power trying to like dictate like his message against somebody else. You know, it's almost like doesn't it bother you, Phil? Like he's always like he always wants to like discredit everything. He's shown his true self, Trump. Well, maybe those things need to be discredited. No, not by not by the president. It's like he wants to push an agenda all the time to keep yeah. you away from the real truth. Dictator. Well, he Trump's has a dictator. dictator. He has an he agenda. He knows what he's doing, I think. I, I, I don't, I don't think... I, 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 I have to disagree with Mike. I don't think uh, Trump is a dictator. Uh, he's a to uh, it. Uh, he, 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 he doesn't have the... He, this country is... It, created in a certain way that it's hard to become a dictator. You can become a lot be of other way. things and you can be leading a country astray, but I don't think he can become a dictator. Do I think that he has fascist ideas? Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Did you hear what McCain said and during his speech in the Senate? He said that the Sen that they are just as powerful as the president and so, there is the yeah. checks and balances. So there are no dictators. Uh, but the fact Trump, that he has to say that, well, it's the, the fact it's that he the, has to say that, it was it shows a, you that we're, we're running up mouth against shut. we're running up against this this ceiling of what his powers should be, and he's trying to push that boundary. Yes. Why? Why not? Here's the question: You well, know, because what this is America. Is, because, yeah, because have, this is. I, a, I, I well, that's where the Wait a minute! Hold on a second. Let Tony is talking. Phil has one bad weakness, and you can take this. This is just me analyzing. Hold on, the criminals are going on. Yeah. This is the weakness that Phil has. In, I see. I am looking. Mm. He takes Alex whatever Trump says as its gospel. If Trump told Phil, "Give me all your money because I can make you ten percent," Phil would do it. You don't question anything, and that's that's a bad trait, Phil. You're taking everything he says. I don't believe everything well, no, no, but Phil, Phil, uh, uh, Tony, Tony's right, Phil. You no, never, no, you um, never, you 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 if all of this does come to fruition and 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 he and and we find all this stuff out about Trump, you're going to feel like you just were were suckered in by this one man who has been, yeah, that who just you you're you're not like looking at any of the other side of this. I would love for Trump to, you know, that's why I'm kind of looking for that damn silver lining in the cloud today see. with the with the jobs being brought to this country. I'm yeah, trying to yeah. find something. Yeah. That I could be happy about, but I, I there's alarms going off in my head. Forget Donald Trump. I wouldn't if Obama did this. I would feel exactly the same. How are you going to feel if, if you if you're just going by what this one man says? Well, I I do know that he has actually signed 40 bills into law, and many of those bills uh, are my, pardon bills me, that support, pardon me, he, uh, bills, the bills, agenda actual, that he's elected to, actual to bills, carry out. actual bills. Actual bills. Uh, bills that were passed uh, by Congress C or the Senate. CN politics. The, uh, the, 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 the byline is President Trump has signed 40 bills into law. Here's what they do. And Okay, uh, give us an example of some of them. All right. Uh, give me a minute to read through. See, I mean, you, oh, you, oh, you see, you, you're just okay. reading the headline okay. again. Just reading uh, the headline Senate again. Speaker, Senate Bill 1094, Department of Veterans Affairs and Accountability and Whistleblowers Act of 2017. Next one. Legislation described as rolling back Obama-era policies. Uh, House uh, Resolution 66, Joint Resolution. Uh, uh, the Department the resolutions, of Resolutions, not bills. Uh, okay. Senate uh, okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. It's, uh, um, 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 let me ask you. You say they're resolutions, but they're not bills. Give no, this, this tell us. Tell us what the difference is, Tim. Tim. It's an intent to do something. It's not an actual bill that gets put into regulations. It's intent on how we're going to run the government, but it's not actual laws that have to be uh, 
put in public mm. hearings and placed into regulations. And did the Congress, the, the Congress, did the Congress have to vote well, on them, a, or is this? A, a, hold on a second, or is this a bill that yeah, they, goes they, to they his can desk? Vote on resolutions, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's but, usually an up and down vote, though, because it's not changing actual law. Well, this one passed. It was a resolution that rolled back Obama rule that exempted state-created retirement funds from Employment Retirement Income Security Act. Uh, so it sets do? standards for workplace savings. Well, you're you're acting like he made up all these these bills, well, these and he the didn't. Bills, they no, they came to his desk hand. and he signed them. Well, I understand, but okay, while so, you're all talking about transgender and this, that, and the other thing, he's getting all this done. Act to repeal. No, he's, undo, no, Phil, he's undoing things well, that have been done. Him. We don't have a president. Every four to eight years, we don't have a president that comes and undoes everything to prior. They can make changes, but. That's not constructive, and that's not brain power. Yeah. He doesn't like Obama. That's vindictiveness. Oh, uh, uh, resolution 67, joint resolution disapproving the rules submitted by the Department of Labor relating to savings arrangements established by qualified uh, political what subdivisions. What does that mean, Phil? Just tell uh, me what that yeah, means. Tell me what it means. I'll tell you what it means. The resolution oh. also rolls back. Uh, exempted state-created retirement plans. So uh, these state plans, which were originally uh, 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 exempted from uh, from uh, 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 Social Security taxes, are now uh, being uh, uh, they have to pay. Phil, uh, Phil, uh, Phil, 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 you, 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 I, you, you don't know what it's about. Admit, admit, was, what were you uh, saying, Scott? I'm, I'm all for Scott, Scott, their Scott. Says what it was what were you saying, state. Scott? Scott, what were you saying? I thought Phil was against Social Security. Yeah, well, Scott, it's very simple. It, what it says is that the people that were exempt from having to pay it, the state, uh, is now paying in two. What are you? Are you not? Do you not like another tax? I know you're a Democrat. You like every tax that was ever proposed. You know. Uh, Phil, what I suggest you do is that you read that article and then come back tomorrow and explain these things to us, not just read what you see. And well, uh, and, and you did and you didn't give me you didn't give me an adequate explanation, by the way, of what any of that bullshit meant. Yeah, but that's the problem. We don't know. You're 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 reading things and you're listing, but you're not giving us any relevance. Or any any. Uh, okay. Uh, How about the uh, American Law Enforcement Heroes Act or the Public Safety? Wait, but what they mean, they, American? What uh, heroes? It's the American Law Enforcement Heroes Act of 2000. And what does that do exactly? Uh, the law amends the omnibus crime control and safe streets of 1968 to prior, prioritize hiring of veterans in the community-oriented police or cops program. So it hires veterans. Boy, that's but, some really powerful legislation well, he's been he's been uh, signing. He wanted to act to amend the Veterans Access Choice and Accountability Act. Wouldn't that be up to the state, Phil? Uh, uh, veterans for cop jobs? No, veterans happen to be uh, federal. Uh, it's, uh, it's under the federal. Uh, you know, it, maybe it was if it was a, uh, a state militia or a state mm -hmm. uh, national, uh, the, not the National Guard. But oh, the, I know one thing he passed. Yeah. In New York, gas. We gotta guard his Trump towers and cost us five million dollars a year. How about he gets the fuck out of here when he's standing in the White House? Oh that's no, five million a year, more than that. Shut, how much is it, Alex? I mean, uh, it, it's uh, it, well, I know, I know, half it's a it's, it's, it, it's it's a half a million a day now. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Oh, that's all. Well, just a half a million. If that does, yeah. it puts a lot of people to work. Oh. If it was Obama created, uh, those well, jobs, how come how come I'm not working? Well, you better go down there and uh, all see. All it does is pay a bunch of cops overtime, shop, that's all. Jeff, you're yeah. sitting there very quietly, that. Jeff. Any comments? Wait a minute, hold on. Any comments? I think I think you and I ought to go down to Fifth Avenue and apply Good for job. a trunk job. Yeah. I think so, too. Trump is a bill becomes a law when it's passed by both houses and signed by the president. Right. A resolution is something short of a bill. But must be passed by both houses and be signed by the president to take legal effect. Mm -hmm. you, by the way, we've been joined. We've been joined by Marcella, who it's is 11. here. Everybody. And I think we. I think we're still able to fit everybody in. Yeah. And there she is with her uh, green screen tonight. What What's in back of you tonight? She's on the beach. Just a coastal something. I don't know. I thought it was better than yesterday. A coastal yeah. something. Yeah. And you're lit better. Uh, you're, you're not pixelated. Okay. It'll, um, 
on my right side it'll fade in and out a little. But I'm working on it. She's working yeah. on it. She's getting the she's getting the job done, <laughs> Phil. Yeah. You could like me. I I I took down my uh, backdrop. Yeah. Hey, Alex. <laughs> yes. I googled Abraham Lincoln. You know, Wilkes Booth's original plan was to kidnap him. If they kidnap Trump, Alex, how would the country react? You think? Uh, well, we we it'd be like a school holiday. If he wants to kidnap him on a ransom, let him, let him put up a ransom. Yeah, yeah, let him put up a ransom. You know what it would be? It would be the biggest crowd on the uh, on the lawn, uh, the the great lawn there, would blow away what he had for his inauguration. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it'd be, it'd be, it'd be the biggest fireworks. Yeah, he would. If, if if he were ever kidnapped, held for ransom, the kidnappers would have to. Pay us ransom to return it to the fucking White House. <laughs> or a tax free <laughs> button. Yeah. They said he wanted to kidnap. Uh, do you get the idea, Phil, that most of the people here don't like Trump? Oh, no. I, I thought they all love Trump. <laughs> Yeah. Oh bullshit. No, I, I you know I agree though with Rob. You know, like Rob tonight said something good about Trump. Yeah. You know, and, and but you never ever say anything bad about Trump. Exactly. Everything is. Fine. You know, I mean, I mean, you feel as though you have to be the gabnet apologist for bad behavior. No. No, I'm, I'm I really don't supporter. think he does anything bad. So you're real happy with the with the with the with the tweet this morning about the uh, the uh, trans transgender community and, and the military and all that that's that's fine with you i don't think that there's uh, that that people should be that i think they should be more uh, monolithic in the in the military that if they're a man or a woman or transgender they should just be a, a soldier and uh all that other stuff is, is what you, you that's what they were doing so that means so that yeah. what you're saying is you don't believe, you don't think that we should have transgendered people in the service I don't. Like we should, you know, we we should single them out as a special really class. Well, so, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. if they want to be in the service, they should be in the service, but not as a special class of service. Well, who said they're in a special class of service? They're they they're so in well, the military. Yeah, they wanted to be able to express themselves, dress the way they no, want. No, 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 Phil. That's only like because you see that as being something <laughs> different. They simply wanted. They simply want to identify with the gender that they had identify yeah. with. <laughs> Well, that's all. Under a uniform, it's all the same uniform. And 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 how dare a person who's never donned a uniform in the United exactly. States of America, uh, uh, a single I've out of one, yeah, uh, just a small Trump. group of people about Trump. who oh. who are willing to give their lives for this country. He isn't even willing to give his life for this country. He, he uses flimsy excuses <laughs> not to. He wouldn't even announce it, you know, to the to the Congress. He tweeted the fucking thing. Yeah, that's tacky. Well, that, that's very tacky. It, now, I don't know that it's actually going to go anywhere. What we've just discovered is that all it was was a tweet. Uh, it, was there actually any uh, law changed or anything uh, that actually turned he's this to... No, the, but he's the president, and he said it. And what did the White House say? <laughs> Take his... Well, wait a minute. What did the White House say about his tweets? Take them as what... Take them for face value. Yeah, well, I, you know, I want a lot of things, but that doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to get it. And I think the same thing holds true with Trump. And if he could tweet whatever he wants to tweet. It doesn't necessarily make it reality. He's I, commander I in chief. Do it. I, yeah, I don't get it. I don't get I, it. I, I, I've, I've told you this for a long time now. I'd be happy to be to, to be wrong about him and to exactly. rejoice over I'm there. This is our country. But... It isn't looking like that at all, man. I, 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 keep, I keep trying to do what you're change. saying. Remember he was going to change after the election? Yeah. yeah he, he was going to be the, the worst. He, he, thinks, he thinks America is a sole proprietorship. He's not right. a dictator yet, yeah, but I'm he's coming. operating like a sole proprietor, and we are not a sole proprietor. You he's said it. I, I tried to say that last night, and you said it better just now i was i used the reference of a of a dictator and a ceo being sort of the same thing in private business a ceo is a dictator all I'm, of his minions have to follow the rules they I, need to I, the dictator says what he's going to do and all of his executive vice presidents senior vice presidents managers everybody carries out if you don't you're fired that's yep. not government and, he, and he's allowed to bully his employees i voted for bully his employees because I wanted this type of leader in the White House. I would have rather have had Ross Perot because I really believe that he was a hero. 
But the, why was he uh, a hero? How do you describe him as a hero? Because he he stood up and got uh, and got his people out of Iran during the uh, during the uh, hostage crisis. Uh, he 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 did that what was necessary. Doesn't make him a hero. It makes him something decent, but it doesn't make him a hero. Well, I, you you're throwing that way. Medicare and Medicaid for tens of millions of dollars. He defrauded the government with the software but, he sent. I know the guy that audited his company, and they were within a was week of filing charges. Some, and he EDS. got him dropped. EDS, he was, yeah. he EDS. was friendly with the undersecretary. And Look, he said, he, the him, software did not do anything he promised. You know, that was a payroll uh, is a payroll company, and it was sold to General Motors. No, uh, they built Medicare no, no, no. It was sold to Hewitt Packard. It was you know, sold General, to Hewitt Packard. General Motors he first. He ended up with seven billion dollars. Wait, 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 wait. Scott years. says General Motors first. Yes, yes. Because I, I, I know that. HP just sold it, and I was working here in Herndon, Virginia, at right. uh, 1200 whatever EDS Drive. We wound up with that company. Right, because it, it yeah, came eventually. From, it went from Perot to General Motors to wherever. But uh, it, ever since Tinkers to Chance. Yeah, and you know, and Perot also said to General Motors, "Don't give me the seven billion. Put me on your board. Let me help you straighten the company out." And they said, "No." Well, you see where they wound up. Give you eight billion. So he took he took the seven billion and uh, ran for president. He, he defrauded. He also defrauded when he sold the software from his company before it was sold. Defrauded the, the Medicare uh, processing system how and the Medicaid. How did he most defraud the, the Medicare, Tim? He well, sold them a software system that had no surveillance and utilization. They could uh, track down on fraud. I have a. I knew a pharmacy uh, a pharmacy what? owner a pharmacist. Okay. It went bankrupt because the Medicaid system that Ross Perot sent to Soto, Ohio, was so far behind processing claims, he was months behind getting paid. Well, let me Medicaid. ask you something. Well, uh, uh, let me ask you something. What it year was that? come up to spec. Answer my question. What year was that? Um, I believe it was the 70s. I'd have to look up the exact okay. years. So the sophistication of his program didn't have uh, the necessary... No. Uh, the necessary but, was, but that was in the specs. Nope, no it did about. not match the specs. Well, if it didn't match the specs, why'd they pay him for it? Because he, he got audited, and they were ready to de define him millions of dollars. But he was friends. He and a, about a couple of his buddies were friends with the undersecretary. So and they got things pushed along. And eventually, it was going to be one of the biggest fraud cases yeah, of it's, it's, government it's a, contractors in history. It was, and I know people that work with the system. Yeah, it's a, it's always a conspiracy. You paste no, it on. It's not a conspiracy. I know the auditors. I, I worked in uh, Social Security headquarters, and I worked yeah. for ATW. Yeah. I know you don't happened. think, Phil, well, that maybe maybe Tim knows something here? No, I think Tim is wearing a uh, one of those uh, hats with a tinfoil. Yeah. No, that's what you were, Phil. Hey, 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 Phil! Don't attack my character. That means you don't have any kind of you don't have any way to win this argument. Yeah, so don't uh, attack me. It's a tinfoil hat. Conspiracy. Yeah, uh, and, and, uh, and, 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 not a conspiracy. Uh, uh, I talk to the auditors. I'm sure I worked you alongside them. And these are the same guys that are saying that uh, that Trump is uh, is is in cahoots with uh, uh, Russia and so forth. You know, Jesus. Manafort. Manafort owed thirteen to sixteen million dollars to Russia when he took the job with the Trump campaign. Why are they? Why did they leave all the Russia contacts off the security forms? I'd be in Beats jail. Me. As a federal employee, if I lied on my security form, well, there's there there's going to Manafort was subpoenaed, and Manafort will be uh, will be so answering those questions. He's, he's going to submit some stuff, but the, the the real key is we won't know till Mueller gets done, and he must have tons and tons of stuff, tons and tons of stuff on these people we'll are so see. interconnected with Russia. It's ridiculous. I can't wait till it comes out, and then and I am the one that is hoping that there's nothing there. You know, uh, I, I do too, but you know who Agarov is? No. He was the guy that, that set up the meeting. They knew the meeting was about sanctions. It's a, it, there was a, our foreign, our, it was a mortar enemy of the United States, and you're going to take dirt from them. The, the moment Kushner and, and Trump Jr. showed up at that meeting with that officer that used to represent the KGB, that Russian lawyer, they were compromised. So look up the word compromise. Hey, Once I you don't get have compromised, that's how, that's how the KGB works. 
that's how Putin works. So Whether they, they did anything or not, they were compromised because why did they lie about it on all the forms? Because they well, knew they, it was going to come out. I don't know that they lied. They didn't think there was anything there. Uh, no, you know, they and, lied on the forms. The forms are very specific. I filled those forms out myself. Yeah. They were very, very specific. I filled those and they forms don't out think as they well. have to follow the law. Trump's never followed any, followed any law. Okay, so uh, Rob, when you filled those forms out, what did it say that would have actually made uh, Donald Trump and 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 Manafort, uh, or, or it was just Donald Trump? Did Manafort say that he had connections? Because everybody uh, knew it, it. it's 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 the forms are are basic forms you fill out. You need to put down all of this information and be extremely detailed. A absolutely, Th those forms are. I, I filled out not one for a top secret clearance, and they was like wiping up your, looking up your ass. If, yeah. if you don't, I mean, they go around and talk to your neighbors, or they're supposed to. Absolutely, family they're neighbors. They're supposed to talk to business associates, they, and all these people in the White House. You, if you do some research, they all have all kinds of waivers about conflict of interest. Scaramucci shouldn't be have one step in the White House yet. Why is he working? Right. He has a big conflict of interest. And the guy they're pointing for the criminal division at the Department of Justice, he's going to recuse himself if it involves Alpha Bank from Russia, but he's not going to recuse himself from anything else to do with any Russia or Cyprus Bank that's laundering money from the Russian oligarchs. That's how Putin operates. You get in the whole, and all this time we're messing around with this stuff. What are we doing about North Korea? Okay, I want to ask Marcella, what, do you have anything you want to say about any of this stuff? I think he's doing pretty well. Um, I watched Rachel Maddow a yeah. lot. Yeah. And she talks about this in detail. And the thing I like about her is that she gives multiple sources. So she's just not making up stuff. It's not fake news. And um, and she talked about this quite a bit tonight. So I'm kind of on board with what I'm hearing. <laughs> You've already been there, so, done that. So you, therefore, you like when somebody names their source. And uh, and doesn't say perhaps maybe uh, this person might do this from a close friend. You know? As a military brat, I don't like treason. I don't like collusion. I don't like obstruction. Um, my dad was a Marine and he was in Vietnam. He was in Korea. And, um, and so this really kind of hits home to me. I don't like it. I think he's dirty. And I think he's hiding it, and he wouldn't be working so hard firing so many people, trying I, to get so many people fired I, if he wasn't dirty. I, I don't want to change the subject, but, but you I want to ask you, with your background uh, uh, and association with the military, what, uh, what do you think of this trans transgender thing in the military happening today? Well, um, I've been involved with uh, Rocky Horror for many years, and I lived in San Francisco for many years. So I, you see theater uh, and saw it on, on Halloween. Well, you probably saw me or my uh, friends. Um, uh, in fact, I know Alex's friends of one of our castmates. Oh no, it was, it was the movie, you know. Uh, and then they yeah, had these uh, actors. You're taking us off subject okay. here. Well, yeah. Yeah. So so anyway, I have I have trans friends, and um, I think it's terrible. I think him using Twitter. Yeah. To 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 make this edict is a little crazy, and I think that he came out and said that he was going to support the LGBTQ community. Yeah, he and, held the um, flag. He held the flag. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I'll, uh, and there are there are Republican gay people and Republican yeah. trannies. Yeah, they cool. And um, so some of them supported him. I much more don't, but um. I think it was wrong. I think yeah. it was absolutely wrong. Uh, uh, let me, and, yeah, yeah. Let me well, let me ask Brian though. Uh, Brian, you're gay. How do you feel about what he did today? I, yeah. Huh? Scapegoating, and, and, and it was just cheap and tawdry. I mean, and the fact that he did it that, that I did not know, but I'm not surprised by that. It was issued by. Via Twitter, via what I did know was that he did it in like out of the almost out of the blue, and the uh, higher ups, the brass, 
in the Pentagon and whatnot, they were all caught off guard thinking he was going to announce that he launched a surprise attack on, on North Korea. He, did, he, did just, he just did this on the seat of his pants, on the seat of his ass, and he also did this as a means of which to uh, throw red meat to the uh, Reich wing religious fundy fucking pul uh, pulpit pricking uh, base of his party. Well, I, I have to say I do not like the tw the way he handles the Twitter. I do support the fact that he uses Twitter, but I wish that he would use it in a different manner. Wait, do you sound he, like an old person? Do you sound like an old person when you call it the Twitter? The Twitter, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you see, uh, I, you see, I feel that uh, giving him a voice directly to the people is a really good thing. I just don't like the way he's communicating, you know, and if he's going to be the great communicator that uh, that Reagan was, he needs to he needs to class it up and he needs to stop picking battles that aren't uh, important. Why and, does he take lessons from Obama then? Well, he's not yeah, Obama. He's not you know, Obama was Obama and he was a class act. You know, I, I got to admit that. Uh, but, you know, and Trump, for one reason or another, I don't I don't understand why he's doing this. Uh, there must be a reason. I yeah. don't think he's nuts. Personality. He's scared. he's scared, Phil. He's scared to death. But he did this before. He did this before. No, he's he had gotten worse. It's so bad that Tillerson and Mattis are both on, voca on vacation. All well, of a sudden, they're both on vacation. Now, they're, they know something's going to happen. Well, and Tillerson I, yeah. may not come back. Well, you know, Tillerson said that he uh, that he wasn't quitting, but, uh, no, but he, he went off schedule and just went on a break. They they had to get out of there. I think well, Scaramucci is part of the problem. I think it's enhanced the problem. He has an enabler now that's getting him all psyched up instead of calming him down, and nobody can control him. Nobody isn't controls Scaramucci him. a Democrat though? Yeah, well, but yeah, but he. He supported some Republicans this last time, and he's yeah. big and rich. That's so Ron like Emanuel. Him. They're both fuckwads. He wants the big tax cut. But look, he's law he's had two or three of his personal lawyers quit. Really? Yeah. That's how bad well, that it happens. Is. Plus, you know, this he scares the Gucci. <laughs> You know, uh, but the Scaramucci, he is, uh, uh, again, brought in the TV cameras. Uh, but he's not a he's not a laydown like uh, Spicer was. This guy's a no, fighter a, like Trump. But he, he kisses Trump's butt, and he needs to be a real person well, and not just say that everything Trump says is okay. But that's Except his job. If Trump says something, then there must be some truth to yeah, it. Yeah, that's his job. That's ridiculous. It's his that job. The spokesman. Blind faith Trump. doesn't work for me, buddy. Well, that you know, that's what he was hired to do. Be a sycophant. That's what he was hired to do. He was hired no. to communicate Trump's message. That's a word. It is. If it isn't, it is now because I intended it. He, so he's a consigliere. Is that what you're saying? He's a consigliere. No, no, he's a speaker for Trump. He 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 can he would work with Trump. Trump would say, "This is the message I want out, and this is the message he puts out." No, I'm talking about when he's he gives out false facts. He says, "Well, there must like like the three like million C fake votes that got that got that kept him from getting the popular mm. vote. That is, and the whole thing on this voting commission, that's just unseemly." Well, we'll see. You know, we'll see. No, uh, we the, know because we know who's running it. We know the people running it are just scam. They're all conspiracy theorists running this thing. Well, you know, he's so well, bad okay. now that even the <laughs> Bannon and no, not Bannon, but Breitbart. And Rush Limbaugh are trying to tone him down. That's how bad it is. The guy's wacko. Yeah, well, I think we're seeing his last days. Is he's like Nero, except he doesn't play the liar. He plays the liar. Yeah, I thought it was a fiddle. <laughs> no, it was a well, liar. It, no, it was a liar. Why? Uh, yeah. uh, I believe so. But uh, uh, I, 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 I want him to do a good job too. I liked him in the very beginning, but I yeah. knew what a what a what a fake he was. He doesn't pay his employees. He doesn't follow any laws. And he has his lawyers attack people. They attack everybody. You including, know, heard... remember the Hispanic lady that came out yeah. to yeah. say yeah. she was harassed? They went after her family so bad and threatened to release all this dirt on them. That, is, that's, that guy has no was morals. The, whose boyfriend robbed a bank? Uh, the, the, uh, she was a uh, Brazilian... Uh, model or something uh, for right. in this uh, world, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah but 
if you have to resort to get, to humiliate people and just getting dirt and everybody, that's Putin tactics. She buddy. she came out attacking attacking him too, but no, you know, she she, she uh, that was okay. A, All right, she said what happened. She did not attack anybody. Yeah. Right. And how he treats, you know, the even some of the people who've lost their, their sons and daughters in the military. Yeah, the, he's, the, I, I think one. he's very pro-military, you know. Well, and he has he's shown pro- himself to be. Pro- oh, listen for a second, Phil. Can I talk on my show? Is it possible? Uh, does I'm anybody, sorry, I, does I, I anybody mind? Yes, you have, per- my, you have my permission. Thank you very much. Right. Uh, because I noticed you were doing some interviewing earlier, so I thought well, maybe you were just, the host. I had a question, you know. But here, 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 here's the uh, uh, here, here's the point that uh, this guy who says he loves the military uh, on one hand shows no respect for it at all, like the family of a guy who'd been killed in battle, as an example, because they that happen the to be star. because they can I finish, Phil? I asked you if that's the gold star. Yes, uh, it is. And, yes, okay. yes. And I don't think there's anything, any parents who can be more lauded for their giving to this country than two people who have lost their son. Okay? Yeah. He went after him. He's gone after uh, today transgenders. He's gone after any number of different things in the military, showing absolutely no respect for people who are in the military, in spite of the fact that then with the same breath, he says, but I, you know, I'm all for the military. I don't think he was attacking the military son there. I think he was attacking the Muslim mom. No, uh, f- Jesus. Uh, Just, f- uh, Phil, 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 don't. I think it was Phil, anti-Muslim. Phil, no, 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 Phil, 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 stop it. Stop it, Phil. Uh, it, was it, was, it, was, it was wrong. It was, it wrong, was wrong to attack her. And it was wrong to single her out and saying that she was being because, subservient yeah, okay. to the husband because she's a Muslim. I, I, you know, I thought that that was bigoted. Jeff, yeah. anything to say? <laughs> I'm just over loose. Huh? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is this Trump is just overload. Yeah, it um, it is, isn't it? It yeah. really is. Even I'm getting tired of it. Well, you you know, uh, 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 yes, Rob. Well, I, I just character just let's start a character for a minute i every time i turn on the news and i see trump in the rose garden with all the religious people and they stop and they pray for one second does anybody believe that he has any affinity towards any religion or god or anything i mean quite frankly the way this man has lived his life nope it's as much as the next guy Oh. No, <laughs> no, I, I, I think you're so right. I've been thinking that too. Anyone who phony. believes that is not paying attention. Just don't call him an atheist, and if you do, which is understandable if you do, because there are atheists, myself among them, who are more principled than he is. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. But, but my question is, uh, Phil, uh, uh, what religion is Trump? I think he's Catholic. <laughs> You think he's Catholic? Yeah, I think so. I don't think so. I don't, I don't think, think so. so. Uh, no. uh, didn't he say well, he had some issue with the Pope? or something? No, no, I no, thought no. I heard him say yeah. he was Presbyterian or some shit. No, there, there was See, something about All, all I'm saying is because you can't sit here and tell us definitely what religion he is, apparently he doesn't adhere to any. Well, I can't tell you what religion. Uh, well, I know Tony, but uh, Marcella, I, I I don't know what religion she's. Well, it's it, not it's, important that you know what her religion is, but it might be important that you know what Trump's is, since you seem to be the Trump, uh, Trumper, cheerleader, cheerleader. Uh, yeah, but uh, I think you know why uh, did the Pope say he wasn't a good Catholic or something? Now I know Melania is Catholic. No, he didn't say he was a good Catholic. I, know, I said he wasn't. <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, no, he and, didn't say and, he was a good Catholic. He didn't say no, anything about his being, him Catholic. being. Uh, he said something about the that, what, the, the that. What he was doing was not. It was not Christian or whatever. I can't remember now, but it wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't referring to him as a as a Catholic. Well, Trump took some yes, offense. To yeah, y- y- yes, Mike. Well, he should take offense at it because it was aimed at him, Mike. Yeah. I can't hear you, Mike. Your mic isn't on, Mike. Well, that rhymes. Huh? Is it on? There's no mic on mic. Uh, he'll, he'll write there it down. Piece of paper. Oh, there we go. If he's Catholic, then I'm the biggest Jew around. That's <laughs> a bitch. Break out the moxie. Uh, hey, I'm Catholic and proud of it. And that son of a bitch think he's Catholic? 
He can kiss my fucking ass. Excuse me. You know how you know he's Catholic? If he puts his Trump brand on the crucifix. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. He's not Catholic. He's a big as asshole around. Rob, you've, yeah, got, you've got no, your hand up. up. Now, no, yeah, name, no name calling of our, um, no name calling I, of our I, wonderful president. What? I I googled uh, his religion and all that, and uh, this is from uscatholic.org. It says that his his uh, background is uh, his heritage is Protestant and European. His father came from Lutheran stock. His mother uh, from Scotland, the Presbyterian. It says yeah. here Trump identifies himself as a mainline Protestant. Well, what do they believe? In? Whatever that is, he mainlines Protestant. <laughs> <laughs> I Me, I don't know. Am a Protestant? No. AKA a cherry picking Bible thumper. Something no. like that. And that's the nicest thing that Brian has said in weeks. Uh, uh, the meanest, one of the meanest things is uh, Fundy fucking pulpit prick. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you know, um, uh, before I go, I'll tell you, speaking of all of this, uh, my wife today. Uh, decided to send away and got two DNA kits for us from Ancestry.com. That's pretty neat. So uh, I will let you know soon whether I'm truly Jewish or whether it turns out I'm African. You know, uh, <laughs> I know I'm Jewish. Technically, we all are African. Yeah, you wanted a lost tribe, I thought. Well, it'll be interesting to see what it says. I, I don't can, can conceive that I'm anywhere but, you know, uh, Eastern European. Yeah, so. We did that for our dog. <laughs> what did yeah. you do? Yeah. I didn't know you could do that. Wait a minute. You yeah. did that for I your dog? Wait, wait, a wait a minute. Did you get one of those Ancestry.com DNA kits and get <laughs> DNA <laughs> off your dog? They have them for dogs, um, specifically. <laughs> uh, yeah. They do, um, we breeds. rescued a dog. And he was a puppy, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we wanted to find out what he was. So what was he? He's terrier, Boston terrier mostly, and he's also a little bit of Chihuahua and a little bit of Poodle. He's cuter than it said. <laughs> well, I said the same thing. They got the same results for everybody's test. <laughs> you know, and, and, and because mine was uh, terrier, they said Schnauzer. And uh, Chihuahua mm -hmm. and miniature Doberman. Well, um, f probably when we send away our DNA and it comes back, we'll turn out to be French Poodle. So, right. you know. <laughs> you don't have enough hair. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Maybe we, we should get a dog kit for Trump. Because uh, he's doing, he's going to, his next step's going to be wag the dog. Just wait and see. Yeah, you know, yeah, it, 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 you know, this is the first president we've had in office in a long time. It doesn't have younger children in the White no House. Animal. Yeah, no, no pets. What about, no uh, pets. Baron? What about Baron? Huh? Oh, Baron, you're right. I forgot. Do you know what my German Shepherd's name was when I was a kid? Baron. Yeah. What? Baron. Baron? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, no, you're right. I forgot about Baron. Why do we forget about Baron? I think it's because... They're never around. They're never he's, around. He's smarter than Trump, you know that. He's pretty smart. He looks like a smart yeah. kid, but he looks like he's going to be... He's small, right? Uh, he's, he's 11. He's a good-looking kid, and he's, he's tall. Well, look at his mother. I, I'd be careful. All due respect, I'd be careful when you... All I know is that like every, that, time like I look, every time I younger look... Than, you know, younger than 18, Baron's age, 10, 11, leave him alone. Every time I look at malaria... Oh, what, what do you got there? Is that a pet... Uh, what you, is that your pet, Marcella? Yeah, no. this is my dog. Can you see him? Yes, he's very cute. What kind of dog is he? So he's terrier and poodle and chihuahua. Yeah, uh, probably what I my my DNA will come back with. So. For anybody, <laughs> children that young, yeah. they're 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 not in the game. Leave, yeah, leave but uh, it, all I know is that malaria Trump looks just unhappy all the oh, time. Uh, she looks unhappy that's, all the time. Oh, that, that's Florida. your dog. That yeah, that that dog you rescued, right? Yeah, yeah. He looks similar. Yeah, yeah. That's why yeah. I like the part of Phil I like is that he would rescue a little dog like that and save its life. You know, well, we, we had he had the same uh, DNA test done on the dog, and it had the same things: a terrier, uh, a Chihuahua. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, I think well, they. Well, you know, it's, it's Alex, like, as you probably know, Hitler himself was a staunch animal rights advocate. That's right. You're right. 
You're absolutely right. Well, again, Trump's going to get a dog and name him Checkers. Yeah, right. <laughs> and we're going to keep that dog. Uh, Rob, thank you. Uh, um, uh, Jeff, always nice to have you here because every now and thank then I can go to you for some sensibility. <laughs> um, uh, also, uh, thanks to Tim for joining us and uh, to um, Brian and to Marcella. Love having you here now, Marcella, especially with that lovely background you have there. Phil Meyer, thank you because we get to beat up on you every night. And, sure. and thank you for allowing us to. Mike, thank you for calling tonight. The same to you, Kevin. Always love having you here. And Tony, of course, you know, you've been with us for a long, well, long don't time. Get Scott. He had to go uh, uh, pray after he heard my voice. Yeah, I don't know what happened to Scott either. He was disgusted or just tired of it, you yeah. know. And I don't blame him. I think we're getting all tired of Trump, including you, Phil. And I yes, think I, I think the fatigue is being caused by the fact that he insinuates himself on us each and every day with something else. Yeah. So, <laughs> Trump, if I have any advice to you, just fucking stop it. Everybody, wave goodbye. Goodbye. Okay? That's Maybe our, time to start talking about movies. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, maybe we'll do that tomorrow <laughs> night. Thanks, everybody. Okay. Uh, bye bye to everybody, and uh, uh, we're gonna have to say goodbye to you too. Let me let me get rid of, and also Jeff. Did I say goodbye to Jeff? Did I mention Jeff? Uh, just everybody who was here tonight. Sometimes I'm afraid that I I'll I'll do something wrong and you know not say the right thing. Hey, listen, uh, the uh, intersection is next with Jeff uh, with Jack and Amy, and then at one o'clock in the morning it's connections. I'm Alex Bennett. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye.